Hello again, YouTube. Um, today I'm going to be uh, cleaning a harmonica. <coughs> um, this is my very first, the very first harmonica I bought. Um, and you're going to need a few things. You're going to need um, uh, whatever harmonica you're you want to clean, and you're going to need some. Uh, depending on the kind of harmonica that you use. Probably need one of these little electrical screwdrivers, um, but there are ones you can take apart without. Um, but anyway, so let's get started. Um, so basically, why would you want to clean a harmonica? Um, generally, it makes the sound louder, uh, makes them more responsive, and it's. I mean. Personally, I think it's a good thing to clean your harmonicas because every now and again when you're playing, there's there'll be a bit of two-year-old pizza that will fly out from the, the back of some reed or something, get caught in your throat. It's not a nice thing. So the, the first thing you want to do is take the whole thing apart, um, which you do by taking the screwdriver, generally, um, and unscrewing the bolts. I mean, you can work this out for yourself. Um, I've got a little plate here to hold all my bolts and later some vodka. Um, so you take out all of the screws and you're left with cover plate, cover plate, and then you've got some more screws to take off the reed plate. Now, uh, this harmonica has been going for about probably about three years without me cleaning it um, and it still works okay I think the um, couple of the notes are a couple of the reeds are a bit bust but that's very dark um, I can I can see a tiny little bit of gack on the um, on the two drawer um, that's even worse. So, basically, when you take out the comb, I don't know if you can see, um, but there's a lot of crap on the on the comb. Um, but we'll come to that later. So what you've got is a comb, two reed plates that you need to be quite careful about because that's where your noise comes from, and two cover plates. Now what you do with the cover plates and the reeds is put them in a bowl of sort of lukewarm water um, for about 10 minutes and just leave them in there. I've got this little bowl full of water and you leave them there for about 10 minutes. The comb... Um, the best, well, I mean, you, you pick off the obvious stuff um, and drop it in. I've been told beer is, is the best thing for keeping combs, uh, for cleaning combs in. Um, I, I'm not entirely sure why. I think it may be the, um, uh, the temperature generally of the beer. So I'm, I'm going to give it a shot this time. So... I've got my comb, or I've got my reed plates and my cover plates in a bowl. I've got my screws in a safe place, and I've got my comb here and a toothbrush and some beer. And I'm going to try and clean it. This is the boring bit, so I'll um, I'll stop and um, let you get on with your life, and I'll be back in a minute. Um, but basically, with the with the comb, I mean, like I said, I'm trying it with beer. Get it wet, and then work. It's better if you put it down, obviously. But work with the combs. Don't brush against them because there's always a chance that you might um, you might bend one or break one of the combs if you've got a wooden comb. If you've got a plastic comb, it's less of a problem. You can probably go uh, a bit more mental, but. Yeah, go down the comb and make sure you, just like brushing your teeth, make sure you get into all the gaps and get all of the gack out of the gaps. 
Okay, well, I'll uh, see you in about five minutes when I've finished cleaning this. So, um, I finished cleaning <coughs> my comb with beer, uh, just to give it a shot. And then I've rinsed it very thoroughly to make sure, and you can tell that there's no scent of beer on there at all. Um, because if you, if you leave any beer on there, that's going to stink and, and also be quite dangerous because beer yeast is, is uh, not great. But anyway, continuing with the uh, well alcohol theme, um, what I've got to clean it, I prefer the idea of using natural products, um, like you know the idea of cleaning your shower with lemon juice or whatever. Uh, so I've got some vodka, some high percentage vodka, 50% uh, or above is what you want um, so that the alcohol disappears pretty quickly. But in your, um, in your bowl that's been waiting for 10 minutes are your reed plates and your cover plates. So what you then do... If you take them out of, the, out of the, the warm water, which will just soften the gack and the, and the crap that gets in there. And then take your vodka. It's not very good vodka, thank God. And pour, well, you can't really see, but uh, maybe if I do that, that might be a bit better. And you pour... Some vodka onto your reed plates and you scrub. Right, I'm doing the back first here, but make sure you <coughs> scrub it like this because if you scrub like this, oh shit, crap, that's exactly what happens. So I now have a toothbrush bristle lodged in, right, there we go. If you do it that way, you'll get it trapped, you'll ruin your reeds. And it will be horrible. Um, so make sure you go this way and this way only. And just keep going a really light, fast motion like that. Then you flip it over. And be extra careful on this side because this is the side that the reeds poke up on. And a bit more vodka. And keep scrubbing. Um, some people like to use um, like some kind of uh, detergent. I don't really. I just don't like the idea of breathing in nasty things. But keep going like that when, with the reed plates for about I don't know five six minutes, and then you've got a reasonably um, gap free reed plate. So I'm going to do that with my other ones and then uh, get back to you. Okay, so I've finished um, cleaning my reed plates and I've put them back in the water, uh, in the warm water. Um, and my comb's nice and dry. The thing, the only real th thing you need to think about if you're working with wood is that wood expands and contracts. So if you're working with plastic, don't worry about this. Um, but if your screws screw directly into wood, then don't put it back together when it's wet. If, like, I think most harmonicas use a kind of, the, the screws never actually screw into wood, they screw into other metal parts with maybe wood in between or whatever, then you're fine. But just remember that wood expands and contracts when it gets wet. Um, so remember that when you put it back together. So what you've got now is a clean, or several different bits of a clean harmonica. So you want to put them together. And I use, I put mine together wet because mine don't, um, mine don't screw into the wood. And so you have to remember which way round they go uh, and all of that business. So be aware, make sure that you're putting it back together correctly um, and then screw it back together.
um, which is what I'm going to do, and I'll um, see you in a sec. So, <coughs> uh, I'm just about to finish putting this together. Um, the reason I'm cleaning it is because I'm giving it to a bandmate to practice um, practice his harmonica. Uh, so I'm not going to play it afterwards, which is a bit of a shame because it would be nice to show you that it sounds a bit louder. But I didn't play it at the start, so it doesn't really matter. Um, but generally, they do they do sound that little bit louder. Um, and I, I think it's just a nice thing to do, to, to clean your harmonicas. It's, it's something you would do with your horse, if you're into horses, or, um, I don't know, your car, if you're into cars. You clean it, you respect it. So anyway, uh, once you've just sapped a little bit of the water out. Um, when I say put it together wet, by the way, I don't mean soaking wet. I mean dry it off a little bit and just be careful about how you dry it off. Go with the, the grain of the reeds, etc. Be, be sensible when you dry it off. And you, but in my experience, you don't need to put it together. It doesn't need to sit on sit in an airing cupboard for a week before you put it together you can you can generally put it together pretty um pretty wet but yeah don't don't put it together soaking wet uh, so make sure it's nice and tight there's nothing rattling there's nothing loose and you've got your harmonica back um but yeah i, I hope that helps cheerio uh one final point um I just noticed that I put the not by playing it, but by the the um, the logo on the back. Uh, I noticed that I put the cover plates on backwards, uh, which is, I suppose, could be cool or not. Um, but yeah, make sure you put the cover plates on the right way around because otherwise you've got a harmonica that you don't know what's what notes or what. But anyway, <laughs> cheerio.